select the cylindrical part of the sensor corresponding to the organized material on the middle of the left conveyor belt, and set it as the sensor for object transformer. After performing operations on collision shape and shape properties, the sensor's relative coordinate system will pop up. Since the detection direction of the sensor is vertically upward, adjustments to the coordinate system are needed. Control the dynamic coordinate system by rotating the YCCC reference plane's rotation sphere so that the coordinate system rotates 90 degrees around the XC axis, achieving the same detection direction as the sensor at the transmitter entry. Keep the sensor height unchanged at 100. Name it and click Apply. Set the cylinder of the sensor part at the end of the left conveyor belt as the sensor for object sync. The setting method is the same as that of the sensor for object transformer. After setting up the sensors, proceed to configure the transmitter, transformer, sync, and other commands in the mechanical toolbar. First is the transmitter entry setup. Select transmitter entry under the inverted triangle symbol below rigid body and set CS1 sensor as transmitter trigger. With the default port number 0 unchanged. After naming, click OK to complete the setup. Next, configure the transmitter exit. Select transmitter exit under the inverted triangle symbol below rigid body, keeping the default port number 0 unchanged. The function of the specified point in the transmitter exit setup interface is to receive and transfer the starting point of the objects at the transmitter entry port. Specify the center of the cylindrical outer surface of the sensor part at the starting point of the left transport surface as the point. Click play to observe the effect. We can see that the unassembled materials are transported by the conveyor belt to the sensor for the transmitter entry, then triggered and transferred to the specified point at the transmitter exit, where the position of the material shifts in the y direction, and its centroid moves to the aforementioned specified point. Click Stop button. It is evident that to prevent any centroid position shift during linear movement of materials on the conveyor belt, it is necessary to properly set the specified point at the transmitter exit. In this case, the direction of transmission is along the negative x-axis, and the shape of the material is relatively regular. Therefore, we assume that the y-coordinate of the material centroid is the same as the y-coordinate of the midpoint of its tray, ignoring any allowable minor deviations. Set the y-coordinate of the tray midpoint as the y-direction for the specified point at the transmitter exit. Click on the Analysis module and select Measurement. Modify the object to measure to point in the measurement interface. Select the y-direction midpoint of the material tray to measure its y-coordinate. Then modify the previously set specified point at the transmitter exit. Set its y-coordinate to the measured value of the material tray's y-direction midpoint. After naming, click OK to complete the setup. Click the Play button, and we can observe the materials moving linearly on the conveyor belt without any centroid position shift. Click the Stop button. Next, configure the Object Transformer. Select Object Transformer under the inverted triangle symbol below Rigid Body. Set CS2 Sensor as Transform Trigger. Transform the assembled material to the Rigid Body.
after naming, click OK to complete the setup. Finally, select Object Sync under the inverted triangle symbol. Set CS3 sensor as sync trigger. After naming, click OK to complete the setup. In order to further simulate the effect of continuous and orderly cycle of production line products, it is also necessary to set up the object source. Select object source under the inverted triangle symbol of rigid body, and then choose RB1 on assembled material as the object to copy. Keep all other parameters at their default settings. After naming, click OK to complete all setups for the mechatronic objects. Click the play button to run the MCD simulation. We can see that the unassembled materials are uniformly transported along the trajectory of the right transport surface to the end of the conveyor belt. Once triggered by the sensor for transmitter entry, they move to the left transport surface where they continue to be uniformly transported. Upon triggered by the transformer sensor, they are transformed into assembled materials, which are eventually collected by the object sink at the end of the conveyor belt after being triggered by the object sink and the sensor. Additionally, new copies of the unassembled materials are generated every five seconds, executing the aforementioned production process in an orderly cycle. If you need to manually generate new materials or produce them only when necessary, you can modify the triggering method of the object source. Choose once each activation. Based on the settings of this task and building upon the simulation setup operations from case study 1, you should have further familiarized yourselves with the definitions, functions, and usage methods of the commands in the mechanical toolbar such as transmitter entry, transmitter exit, object transformer, and object sync as well as collision sensor under sensor dropdown in the electrical toolbar, and master the parameter settings and configurations during their usage. Please complete the following exercises. This lesson ends here. Thank you.